So this is where we are going to begin our tour of Portugal. This is known as the Stonehenge of Portugal, although that's just a term for the tourist board, basically, because there's not much similarity between the two sites. Some of these megalithic monuments are just stones on their own, single stones. This is a single standing stone or a menhir. You can see a corridor made up of about 20 stones, which is leading up to a massive, massive dolmen. This must be one of the biggest dolmens, certainly the tallest in the world, I would say. This is probably uh, nine, 10 meters tall. This next to me here is a dolmen, which is at least 5,000 years old, that has in the last few hundred years been turned into some kind of house. This is the stone circle we're going to see obviously in the morning. We were planning to camp here, but there is this barbed wire fence here, so... a few kilometers from the Spanish border, and we've come to show what is one of two square stone circles or quadrangular stone formations that are known about in the world. There is another one in Karnak in France, and then there is this one as well. This is an example of a dolmen that is both within a mound and has a corridor. Off behind me here, they're hunting in the area, obviously. That's uh, brilliant. There's too many animals on the planet, isn't there? Anyway. Um... So here we have the largest example of these. This is about two and a half meters tall. There's an example of each. This is a boar. You can see this sort of spine going down the center of its back. This one is pretty cool. This is a dolmen that has been turned into a chapel in the 17th century, next to Café Dolmen. Okay, well that's more or less it.